Melissa Caps and I make apps. Uh, so cars.com spoke earlier today on how they, with the help of Dockyard, have started to convert their entire dev team over to Elixir in under three months and to rebuild their entire site within the year. And we can't all be as amazing as cars.com, but even without their resources, I can tell you that you can build an amazing Elixir dev team from scratch with limited time and a small team. So not only is this um, it, it, something that everybody here has probably struggled with, this is a um, worldwide problem. The tech skill gap is widening, and there's also a rapidly growing socioeconomic divide. And I think the problem is twofold. One, there are more tech jobs than there are people who can do them. There's 3.7 million tech jobs in 2018, and only 1.5 million software developers to fill them. Two, um, current hiring methods and pipelines fail to market to large swaths of people that would make great additions to your development team. So I'd like everybody to raise their hands real quick. Come on, we've been sitting all day. All right, so everybody has their hands up, and please drop your hand if you have a bachelor's or associate's degree. So if you list that that is a requirement, you've just eliminated 75% of the eligible workforce. Everybody raise their hands again. Now raise your, or lower your hand if you are male. You just eliminated approximately 55% of the U.S. workforce. Uh, in 2017, HubSpot um, said that 94% of developers in the U.S. were male. I think that number's a little high, but Google reported 80%, and interestingly enough, 63% of those men were white. Um, only 31% of the U.S. population is a white male. And don't get me wrong, I love you guys. I even married a white dude. Um, but we are definitely missing out on an opportunity to grow our workforce. So while this quick demo shows you that, and these stats may be not 100% you know, accurate, what I wanted to show you is that there's 2.2 million open tech jobs and a limited supply of white dudes. So all kidding aside, um, diversifying your dev team actually has a direct impact on your bottom line. So a 2015 Kinsey report found that the top 75% of most diverse companies had roughly 35% higher profit margins. That's something we could all get behind. So how do you go about um, in, uh, to diversifying and growing your dev team at the same time? Um, my proposal is that you host your own training program. So two years ago, I found myself laid off for the second time from the accounting field in less than seven months. And I have no college degree. I have 14 years of experience, but I faced a dilemma. I was go back to school and get my CPA license, which filled me with dread, or switch careers entirely. Um, by this time, I was really enjoying cloud software more than I was enjoying the work, and a friend convinced me to try a coding boot camp. Six months and $10,000 later, I felt I had wasted my time and my money just to learn how to Google and read Stack Overflow messages. I was honestly still in doubt if I wanted to code at all. And not everyone who wants to code can afford a 10K training program. So luckily last year, I happened across another boot camp called Empower in a smaller city about two hours away. These two crazy guys at a small software company called SiteSource were offering a full stack boot camp 40 hours a week for eight weeks. And it was free. It was 100% free. Plus, SiteSource was looking to hire directly out of the trainees. It was a two-way interview, participants getting to know the company and the company screening the participants. Did we learn every language that we covered? No, come on. <laughs> it takes a lot of time to learn, truly learn coding. But one of the things that my classmates said best was that we learned how to learn to code. So I was lucky. I got a job along with five other awesome people, and we've been coding now for over a year. Surveys find that it takes roughly 40K in real and intangible costs and three to four months on, to onboard a new employee. And so how did a small dev team of two guys manage this and meet client deadlines with six brand new baby developers? They immediately put us to work. 
we wrote and deployed a new JavaScript to clean up SQL backups on AWS in our first week. My second week, I pitched to a potential new client and a prototype that I wrote in React in one week. We got that contract and I got my full stack Elixir project. In two months, I was able to knock out a few features on my own. In another two months, I was working autonomously. Granted, I had a lot of help from leaders and my teammates, but I delivered our first, my first project, a fixed asset inventory tracking app, in about five months. Today, uh, or let me let you know just a few other keynotes about um, Empower. We had 500 applicants, the majority of them being female. After interviews, 46 were admitted, and 44 completed the program. We ended up hiring full, seven full-time employees, three full-time contractors. Only three of us had college degrees. We were 30% female and 30% minorities. We've already done seven major deployments with more in progress. And what they gained in taking a risk on all of us was that we have the experience and empathy from a Cicerone, a daycare worker, a physicist, a music teacher, and an accountant. We write in a variety of languages and we're very excited to offer this program again in 2020. Thank you.